Okay guys, so I am back with another Destiny video and today I want to talk about weapon mods and weapon customization. But before we go any further, to be in with a chance of winning my weekly giveaway, simply drop a like and comment. Details are on screen now. Okay, so weapon mods. If you do not know, there is a new way of us being able to customize our weapons within Destiny 2 and it's with weapon mods. Now for certain we do not know what these or how these mods will work but I do have an idea of what they could be and it kind of makes sense and in my opinion it's definitely a great move by Bungie. Okay so during the Destiny 2 reveal stream we saw a snippet of a Guardian's inventory being checked out. We see the users scrolling down through the weapons and it's clear that this was put in place to show off this new weapon mod feature as every weapon in the inventory has this weapon mod feature. Now when I was at the LA event I got to play Destiny 2 and these weapon mods were not available for us to see so it's definitely Bungie's intention when showcasing these during that snippet that they want to get us talking and that worked out great for them. Now we see a sidearm, a hand cannon, a grenade launcher all bearing this weapon mod slot. Now this is what I think this is. Each weapon type will have a set of weapon perks, some available on other weapons, some not. This weapon mod slot is a slot for you to apply certain mods that can bear them, aka certain weapon perks which these weapons can bear. Imagine new obtainable loot in the form of weapon perks. For instance, for being the weekly nightfall you have a chance of getting a glass half full mod. This mod will be stored in your infantry until you apply it to a weapon which can bear it. Imagine it within Destiny 1 with this example. You grind your ass off for a certain weapon mod. When you eventually get that weapon mod, let's go with look in the chamber, you then need to grind to get the weapon this mod can be applied to, in most cases, hand cannons. So you have the perk, now you gotta grind again to get the Ayas Luna, so to speak. If that's the weapon you want to apply this perk to, you have to go and grind PvP. Once you have obtained the Ayas Luna, you can then apply this perk to that hand cannon and have your lock in the chamber Ayas Luna. In Bungie working weapon mods this way, within Destiny 2, it doubles your grind for that perfect rolled weapon. Maybe certain weapons can't drop with certain perks and then certain perks can only be applied when you obtain that perk as a loot drop. Maybe you can even stack certain perks on certain weapons. Choosing between which mod you want to apply for the right circumstances. Again, let's reference Destiny 1 here for a simpler explanation. If you have a single 1000 yard stair sniper rifle, this has an empty perk slot which you can apply weapon mods to, aka perks to, and you have two perks or mods stacked on this weapon, unflinching and firefly, you can choose to use whichever perk you want by applying the weapon mod when you want to do so. If you want to play PvP, you can apply the unflinching mod. If you want to play PvE, you can then apply the Firefly mod. This does make sense for two reasons. First, like I said, it doubles the grind for that perfect rolled weapon. But secondly, it also allows you to save a lot of space when it comes to storing weapons. Because you won't need two or three snipers for certain situations if one sniper does the whole job. That's honestly what I think these weapon mods are. I mean, why else would they showcase them under the usual perks when a weapon is hovered above? I have heard many people state that these could just be ornaments, so to speak, like weapon skins. Although I believe they are definitely making a return within Destiny 2, they, in my opinion, are not what these weapon mods are. They do not need to be showcased on a weapon when you hover above it, more so when you inspect that weapon. So yeah, guys, tell me what you think about this idea down below. Okay, so I just mentioned ornaments for your weapons. Now, as far as I know, Bungie haven't confirmed uh, as such are coming back or making a return to Destiny 2. But you can mark my words that weapon skins or ornaments will be coming to Destiny 2. On screen now is another snippet from the reveal stream. It shows a single weapon. And this weapon, which I believe is a hand cannon, is shown in a variety of different colours. Now trust me, it is not Bungie's intention to make people think they are just reskinning weapons and changing their names. This was put here with intent and in my opinion it was Bungie's intent to let us know weapons may just have shaders or different ways for you to customise their colours. I mean it's something we have asked for for quite a while now and it would be absolutely amazing. 
Now to end the video I want to finish on something I think would be great but from what we see it's hard to know for sure. On screen now you are seeing a serious weapon. What stood out to me instantly was the emblem on the back. It just doesn't fit right. It also doesn't match the colour of the weapon. Now in my opinion this is one of two things. A new faction weapon, although in my opinion if this is the case, why apply the faction logo there? Why not blend it into the weapon or at least make the weapon match the faction logo? It just doesn't seem right to me, it just doesn't fit right to me. The other thing this could be is your clan emblem. Now we know clans are making their way into the actual game. And it was clear that Bungie said we can customize our clan emblem. And today, I'm happy to say that in Destiny 2, clans are coming into the game and custom banners for you to help shape your shared identities. And you can also apply the emblem in your inventory. Who's to say you can't apply this clan emblem to your weapons too? I mean, it isn't like Activision haven't been doing this for years with Call of Duty. But hey, it's just an idea and I could be completely wrong. But that's what I'm actually hoping this is. But let me know what you think down below in that comment section about what I've covered in this video. Do drop a like if you enjoyed my ideas. Remember if you're new around here subscribe for daily destiny videos and if you never want to miss a video hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I upload. But guys thanks for stopping by as always and I will see you on that next one. Get around